Hey, 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 what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? AZD here with a second stimulus check update and a second stimulus package update. And what's going on with the stimulus check on Capitol Hill? Now, I know many of you probably heard about this going on. Is they're trying to do another version of another bill? All right, basically to the point, they're doing a skinny bill. What they're calling it is a skinny bill. And it's going to be like a smaller version of what um, McConnell had put forth with the Hills Act. In addition with the skinny bill, it's gonna be a lot of things going on because um, the Democrats are also being called back to Congress. And the reason for that is because of the post office, the post office reform. They're trying to do a post office reform because the new post office general master started to implement some things such as getting rid of mailboxes, such as um, getting rid of the fast counting machines, the fast um, dividing machines. And these machines and process will be needed during the election, especially if many people will be doing absentee ballots and um, mail-in ballots and doing voting by mail. So um, Nancy Pelosi, along with some other Democrats leader, decided to say, hey, um, something's not right. The, um, the United States Postal Service are gonna need some more help. They're gonna need some more money in order to continue to operate. And they want to put in place a reform where it would stop these changes from going on. So it was a big deal. Okay, Congress was gonna be called in. And okay, so the Republican says, okay, well, since Congress is gonna be called in, let's work on something in terms of the stimulus bill. So now they come up with the skinny version of the Heels, of the Heels Act. And they call it the skinny version because it's not everything exactly that the Heels Act. It's just certain important things that they're trying to get through in order to have a stimulus package so people can be okay with the economy. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Before I continue this video, make sure you hit that like button so YouTube and the algorithm can know that this video is of value to you and to others, and it can build up the channel and help to reach out to other people so other people can get the information. So let's get back into the skinny bill and what's going on. The skinny bill has to be put in place because with the, with the presidential executive order, a lot of these things that was put in place has to also go through Congress in some way. So some of the things is like, um, for example, this is gonna have to go through Congress, the, the FPUC. The FPUC $600 weekly was being replaced by $400 weekly, $300 from the federal and $100 from the state. Now the problem is a lot of the states said they couldn't do it. A lot of the states said they won't be able to afford the hundred dollars that's supposed to go in so it could add up to four hundred dollars weekly a lot of states said they couldn't do it in addition to fema says they only have enough funding to do this whole thing for three weeks three weeks so one a lot of states already didn't get approved and two fema only says that they only had three weeks so congress now has to come back and start to put some more things in place in terms of getting a stimulus package passed and right now with the stimulus bill what they're doing is because only four to eight states are qualified, what they're doing is trying to put the skinny bill out so the skinny bill can get addressed in addition to what's going on with the post office reform. So they said, okay, well, you guys are gonna be coming back to negotiate and, and debate about this postal office reform and try to get most more money for the post office. How about we do this? We um, put together a skinny bill and we put it forth towards you I'm talking about the Democrats. They, the Republicans say, okay, we're going to put together the skinny bill and we're going to put it forth you along with this uh, post office reform. So President said, the President Trump says, okay, well, if the post office reform wants to get passed, you have to agree with the skinny bill and he'll be able to um, sign off on the post office reform. Right now it's becoming a controversy because he was the one, President Trump was the one who appointed the Postmaster General and the Postmaster General also was a big contributor to um, to President Trump's campaign when he was running for president. So it's kind of, a, kind of so it's kind of starting to be like a big um, scandal thing that's going on. So right now they're trying to put this skinny bill together because, okay, they said, well, we don't need to go for a larger bill, you know, the, the $3.4 trillion, even though Democrats reduced the um, the HEROES Act uh, budget from $3.4 trillion to $2.4 trillion, but the Republicans still don't want to budge. They still say, we want to do $1 trillion and that's it. We don't even want to do any more than that, not $1.4 trillion. And the reason probably why they're saying that is because how the market is going. Now, the market is going real good. The market is, is breaking records. S&P is breaking records. A lot of company uh, stocks is going up. And the reason for this is because 
a lot of rich people, a lot of hedge fund manager, people like that is starting to put money into the stock market, especially after when the stock market dropped back up in March and um, started to bounce back in April. A lot, of the, a lot of people with money was able to put money back into the stock market and was able to get even richer off of the stock market because a lot of prices dropped. They bought it when it was low and now it's high up. Some of the prices even higher than they were before, the, um, before they dropped. In addition to a lot of small business, is starting to get wiped out. So they're trying to put up more money for the PPP program. And it's kind of odd because a lot of these big small business was able to get access to the PPP program and they didn't even really need it. Some of these businesses are like hedge fund managers where they took the money and put it back into the stock market where they gain interest, where they gain uh, dividends, where they gain profit off of it. So it's kind of hard right there. And also a lot of um, mom and pop stores is starting to get hit. You know, a lot of mom and pop stores are starting to get phased out because of places like Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, a lot of the big companies starting to do like um, shipping, shipping people orders out to them. So let's talk about the stimulus check and the skinny stimulus check. What's going to happen inside the stimulus check? Because they're trying to put something forth for the people. You know, they want to hit people with a stimulus check. They want to get more money out to the PPP. Let's talk about what's going on in the Skinny Act in this new proposal. The new Skinny Act is talking about having um about three hundred dollars a week for unemployment. So the FPUC will be now the lost wage assessment. That'd be three hundred dollars unemployment boost from the federal. They're trying to put in liability protection, as discussed before. More money for the schools, public and um, private. Stimulus check, $1,200 is agreeable, but right now they're still trying to de debate on should the dependents get $1,200 or $500. Um, a second round of money, probably actually a third round, actually a third round of money for the PPP program. In addition to that might be based on whether the company lost revenue, 50% revenue or not. They haven't decided that exactly yet. No worries about how that's gonna go on. And also, also $29 billion for testing and vaccine. So $29 billion for texting, vac so texting and vaccine. And then the 10, and then if all that is agreed upon, then they will put $10 billion for the post office, for the post office reform. So hopefully everything get works out. But it's crazy because last night now, the Post General sent out a press release and a letter to Congress saying, hey, check this out. We're not going to um, say, hey, check this out. Um, I'm going to stop everything. I'm not going to go about with these plans that we have. So no need for any um, any post office reform. No need to um, question me because I guess they was going to have him. They probably still going to have him in a, um, what you call that, in a, uh, in a hearing. They was going to have the postmaster general in a hearing asking him different things about what's going on. But he said, hey, no need for that. Um, I'm not going to do any more um, changes. Everything's going to get um, stop. Everything's going to get put back in place. We're going to have the machines. We're going to have the mailboxes. Everything's going to be running up to par. So don't have to worry about that during the election. So kind of put a stop on that. But Congress still might come back to have a hearing and to probably still might just probably still put forth a, um, a post office um, reform just in case, you know, just in case he backed down his words or anything like that. So we're going to see what's going to happen. Um, check me out later. I'll probably do another follow-up video. And also to all my people on SSI, SSDI, um, make sure you check the portal and check your payment, check your bank accounts to see if the payment have reached your account. And I'll be doing another video on that as well. So once again, it's Ainsley Dawkins. Hope you got some value out of this. Please continue to be safe and I'll talk to you later. Peace.